Hello and welcome to the third part of this little thatch building series. In this video I want to explain a little bit about how I made this map. It looks a bit different than the map I showed in the first video because it has evolved and I've moved it onto UMAP and I've talked about UMAP in previous videos and I won't go into every detail because it might repeat other things I've done in videos before and there are also ways to read up on it that might be easier to follow than following a video. So as you can see in the map I have four layers uh, attached buildings in this brown orange color. Former attached buildings so basically ruins or they have a different um, roof material now. They're gray. And then Thatchers in the past there are those pins here and they extend outside of County Kilkenny and then County Kilkenny is one layer just to show you know where County Kilkenny is. And um, first of all how I added the brown and the Gray areas, they're not dots, um, they are actually the outlines. If I zoomed in, you'd see that they are actually the outlines of the buildings. And this is the one I talked about in the first video, the Edmund Rice Heritage Center. And I have a little pop-up that is fed with data from OpenStreetMap, obviously. And um, not everything is filled in for for every building because I haven't surveyed them all in detail and sometimes, and this also happens, um, something to do with the cache. Shush. Um, so we have the building type house and sometimes it doesn't show the building type if it's just a partly touched house or building. The building level, sometimes it shows the roof levels depending on whether there is one or not. The roof shape, if I have a defined the thatch material, I don't have a define for every building yet. And the thatchers, I'll talk about that later if I don't forget. Last thatched is the date that I put on when I was last thatched. The NIAH reference is the National Index of Architectural Heritage. And the Lenehan reference, which I forgot for this one, bad, um, is the reference in that survey that I will talk about. Um, and then further information, that's, I only use that uh, very little. And then we have a link to the an image that I, mostly my photographs so far, um, on Wikimedia. So let's talk about the survey first, because I've mentioned it a couple of times. So when I was preparing the first video about thatch buildings, I looked in the library of the Kilkenny Archaeological Society whether they had anything about thatch buildings, and I came across this survey done by Jimmy Lenehan who is himself a Thatcher and also an archaeologist. And he made this survey in 1994, as you can maybe see down at the bottom corner. And um, since the library is only open three days a week for two hours each day, I decided to scan the whole thing so I would have it at my disposal whenever I wanted. So this is it. Um, it originally has only 60 pages, but I added a little index to make it a bit easier to find uh, what I'm looking for. Um, and it looks like this. Um, it's basically a photo album because it's only the second volume of that survey. Um, so they're real photographs um, and he puts down the number um, and it's kind of geographical, um, the order, and then the owners and uh, where it is, the townland. Sometimes he got them wrong because he didn't have OpenStreetMap at his disposal in 1994. Yeah, and then in the actual survey which is a bit thicker than this one. He describes them, he, again, he has the uh, the thatch material, the owners, and so on and so forth. Anyway, what I did to locate them was look at this and figure out where they were. I knew, for example, these two, I knew already because I'd been in Kloch. Then I tried to figure out where they were in OpenStreetMap and added the uh, roof material thatch tag. And some, then sometimes I found out that they weren't actually in that um, townland like um, Kloch Bridge, for example, isn't a townland. It's in Kloch, but the bridge is there. Um, and then the Crete Yard, for example, he has two in Crete Yard, but they're actually in the townland of Clonin. But he used the Ordnance Survey Discovery um, map series and they don't have the townland boundaries, so it's easy to make mistakes there. And this one is actually no longer in existence. So I have put them all on OpenStreetMap and... Then I ran an overpass Torbo query looking for roof colon material equals touch uh, on ways and also on relations because, of course, as you saw maybe in the last video, 
In some of them only part of the roof is touched, so I had to do that in the relation and use building parts. So it will find those. And then of course I also searched in County Kilkenny, so it's actually not this search, it's... So roof equals material, no, roof, roof colon material equals touch and then in, oops, County Kilkenny and then build query and I delete the node line because I don't need that. And that gave me those buildings. Um, and then I could export this and import it into the UMAP. And I won't go into how I did that, but I put a link to this guide into the description so you can follow that. Because it automatically um, retrieves that data from OpenStreetMap every five minutes or so. Because it's still a work of progress and I don't want to go and export this all the time and then import it every five minutes or you know, every time I add a new building or I add some information, because I did uh, ended up adding a lot more information than just roof material touch. Then I went down on a little survey in this area in, in South Kilkenny uh, a couple of days ago. And we drove around and I took pictures of all of these. So just to see how many are ruins and how many are still attached, and was quite depressing because a lot of them are no longer attached. Um, in the good, in good news, uh, there is a newly built house here that is attached because this is an area that has been traditionally, uh, has had a lot of attached buildings. So when they built this housing estate here, well, not including the cemetery, the planning permission requested that they, they had one attached building built, which the lady owning this house, she happened to be there and she told us that. So that's great. And then I think there's another one that might be a new build down in, I think this is Lickettstown, this one here. So whenever I found people um, in their cottages or outside their cottages, because it was a very hot day, the doors were all open and the, the radios were blasting. So I knew someone was home. So I knocked and sometimes they answered the door and I asked them um, who the Thatcher was and when it was last touched. So for example, here, this example, the Thatcher is Matty Kelly and he's he's very active around there. He's local and um, I've spoken to him since and he touched this last in 2006. So this is all information I put in there. And um, then I did the same thing with was roof material attached for the ones that aren't attached anymore. So this is our, the, those are the attached ones. Uh, that should be roughly Kilkenny, and if I change this to was colon roof colon material and run the same thing, those are the ones that are no longer attached, and you can see down here there are quite a few, um, where there used to be a lot of attached buildings. And uh, those are the grey ones in this map. And then if you remember, I said in one of the previous videos that I thought that there was a correlation between the main rivers and the attached buildings because I thought that's where the material was grown. So I made that map highlighting the rivers. But when I talked to Jimmy Lennon, who is a Thatcher, he said, no, it's actually where they were Thatchers around and, you know, there was people doing it. Sometimes they were attached by the owners of the buildings, but a lot of times um, they had local Thatchers. So I thought um, I'll add the Thatchers to this map as well. And um, because this goes back a couple of decades, I looked at the schools collection and you might be familiar with that. It's a collection of, call it essays, I guess, on dukas.ie. And uh, they were compiled in the 1930s in Ireland in every national school, I presume. I haven't done a lot of research into this, um, into the history of the schools collection. But if I um, chose schools collection here, and then I put into the, into the search Thatcher and hit go, you get them all here by count. And of course I focused on Kilkenny first because that was my, that was my area of research. And then you can choose it by 
the county, and then I read through all these texts. There are only 27, and sometimes they're repetitive. But you see here, um, for example, first example, many years ago, there was a man named Jim Shi who lived in number 19 Upper Walken Street, Kilkenny. He was a great thatcher, and all the people used to come to him to thatch their houses. He is dead about 10 years now, and so on and so forth. So I then copied that text describing the thatcher and try to locate where he lived. 19 Upper Walking Street is fairly precise. The only problem is that house doesn't exist anymore. Um, so I added a note somewhere along Walking Street and put this information in, the quote that I found on the school, in the school's collection. And then there's an, as you can see, there's a very similar text and you get that in the school's collection. I don't know if you're, they were copying each other's homework or what the deal was. But sometimes you get verbatim same text. And then um, once I had added all those from the school's collection, starting with Kilkenny, um, I also give the source here the link to that page on the in the school's collection on jokus.ie. Then I thought um, maybe they're in the census as well in the 1901 and 1911 census because they're of course also online and available and accessible. So then I looked for those, or also, mustn't forget to say that. Um, I also looked for Thatcher, without the TH. And you will get results for that, because it's just phonetic spelling. People don't say Thatcher, they say Thatcher. So um, you have to bear that in mind. And you could do a similar uh, map if you wanted to for candle makers, for example, because they're also in that topic of woodcrafts just an example, or wheel makers, or basket makers, or something like that. But I did it for Thatcher's, and then, as I said, I looked at the census. So if you put um, census Ireland 1911 or 1901 in your search engine, it'll find that. And then at the top row here, you click on search census, and then on more search options. And I started with 1901. And, and then you have a field here for occupation. And I just typed in Thatcher. And again, started with Kilkenny. And you can add sex male, but they're all going to be male anyway. And then I got a couple here for County Kilkenny. So there were only seven here. And then I've try to figure out where they lived because, um, for example, Ballyloch Street, that's not the name of the street, it's called Ballybocht Street. Um, but I don't know who transcribed the census, but that's wrong and there's no way of correcting it. Um, if you find a mistake here with the names, you can go and correct them. This is actually an interesting case, Seymour J in Ballyloch Street, which is actually Ballybocht Street. So if I clicked on this, and I did, you get uh, an entry with loads and loads and loads of people and most of them are the Church of Ireland and if you know that the army barracks are on Ballyboch Street you'll understand why there are so many people members of the Church of Ireland with not very Irish names listed there and there was that one Thatcher who um, was stationed in the barracks so I didn't add him because he didn't work as a Thatcher I presumed and there were also two in Castle Comer, and they only had initials for um, they're they're the two here, M T and S P. So they they were stationed in Castle Comer in the barracks. Um, one of the problems with Thatchers at the time was that they were itinerants basically, so um, it was probably a seasonal thing because you have to harvest the thatch material and then you have to put it on before the har before the autumn and winter when. So you can't have holes in the roof while you're attaching the roof. So you have to do that before the, the rain comes in autumn and winter. So um, there was one Thatcher where it said that he does, he didn't have a place of residency, that it was traveling around. Um, he was in Kells. And um, it said that in the school's collection, but I found him, I, th I think I remember I found him in the census. There were very few overlaps between the census and the school's collection because of course there's a 30 year gap um so they, i didn't find a lot um 
You can also see that there are only, what, seven Thatchers in the census for the whole county of Kilkenny. And three of them are soldiers, they're not actually locals. Uh, that is because a lot of Thatchers wouldn't have put that down as their profession for some reason. They were farmers, they were farm laborers, and just when it was the season, they thatched. So they didn't put that down um, as their profession. It's like when we did the census recently, a lot of musicians probably didn't put up down that they were musicians because they were only doing that in the afternoon or the evenings, and they all have a day job. So all that information gets lost in time, unfortunately. And just for fun, I'll just look for 1911. So it's the same, it's still Thatcher, and I did the whole Thatcher, Thatcher search as well. So in 1911, there's only one Thatcher in County Kilkenny, according to the census. That would have been a lot of work for him. So I um, tried to figure out where they were from. If they were traveling, and you can see that in the... If you go into the record, you'll see that they were either like this. Everybody's called Walsh and he's the head of the family. Sometimes you don't get that and they will be down as lodger or a guest or something like that or a visitor. And that's when they were working on the property. So they stayed in the house. They were fed by the family and it took a couple of weeks to finish the thatching. So that's how I ended up with these pins here. And then I decided because I figured they weren't... Um, going to be stopping at the county boundary, I went, went and added the ones from Wexford, Waterford, Tipperary and County Leash as well. So that's how I ended up with the, the pins that are outside of County Kilkenny. And at some point, maybe uh, I might do another survey for attached buildings in County Leash or Tipperary, probably not. Um, but you can see that this little project has developed into a huge rabbit hole, which is, is absolutely fascinating. Um, there's no denying that. And I've had a really long talk with Jimmy Lennon and the Thatcher, and I'm going to meet another one, this Matty Kelly, who is from Um and who attaches down here a lot. But he's also working at the moment in County Leash. So, of course, nowadays with cars and people commute to work, Unfortunately, not great for the environment, but um, they can commute to work so they don't have to stay in the house. And um, they attach away uh, until they're done. It was very interesting to talk to the residents down in South Kilkenny about the thatching and um, their experience with the thatchers. And they were all saying it's not feasible. They can't keep it up because you don't just do it once in your lifetime. You have to do it um, different parts of the building more often than other parts. So the, the book, which is the top part of the roof, um, it's probably an Irish word, I haven't found out yet, but that's one of those words that's going to die out with the trade. That has to be done every, I think, eight years. And then the the side of the roof that is exposed to the wind and the rain, the northwestern side, has to be done more often than the southern side, obviously. Um, so... And they get, it costs about 20,000. That's a number I got from about three people. And the grant they get is for 5,000. And they can't afford to spend 15,000 euros every 10 years, obviously. So um, the barns and the sheds go first because they're not lived in and they probably don't use them as much anyway. And then uh, people die in their attached cottage and the next person doesn't keep up the tradition. That was something I heard a lot from Matty um, when we were going through all the thatch buildings that he's done, that he said the owner died and that was the end of the thatch cottage. So it is quite sad, but that's the way it is and it's got nothing to do with mapping. But um, I just wanted to show up my little project and maybe you found it interesting and maybe inspiring. Um, I certainly find it very interesting and I don't mind it being a rabbit hole. And I've added a lot of images to Wikimedia already. So most of the ones here, um, well, down here, they're all on Wikimedia, even the ruins. And I'm hoping that I can convince Jimmy Lenahan, the Thatcher, who did the survey, that uh, we can upload his images to Wikimedia as well. So we have a, a timeline or a comparison between 1994 and 2022 to see this is what it looked like then. And um, how... So many are gone now. So the book is um, up here. It's usually a bit thicker than the rest, depending on the technique, I presume. 
there's one uh, female uh, Thatcher in Ireland. Um, I found that interesting. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and maybe learned something. And if you did like it and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and like the video and tell your friends. And I will see you in the next video. Slán!